basketball team requires a name. That most teams. I mean, he's got the feds names. on him. No, he's got. I mean, he does has the feds on him right now. He's, the block is kind of hot. He decided that he was going to stretch it out even further just to make a mockery of it and say, we haven't made a decision yet. We need Okay, at first I was like, all right, you're going to take the name of a team down. That's fine. You need a year for marketing and all that stuff. That's cool. You'll figure it out. The Cleveland ex-Indians came up with the name pretty quickly, and now they're the Guardians. That quick. Figured it out. It's a terrible name. The logo looks like the type of name when you create a team on a video game yeah, and you just yes it is. put a letter on a hat. Like, it's awful. They look dumb as hell, and people are probably going to call them the Indians. It's like the Alaska logo. Pipeliners. Like, uh, like some team yes. you just book. <laughs> it's dumb as hell. It, it, it's dumb as hell. It's like when you had them team jerseys in the East Bay, and everybody just bought them same jerseys the entire time. Like, that's what the Indians – The I'm sorry, the Guardians. See, it happened to me. The Guardians did here. But the Washington football team – has decided that we're not going to do anything at all. We're just going to continue to call it the most literal. Yes, what are you? We are a football team. The only thing they missed out on is we're the Washington professional football team. <laughs> That's the only thing they could have. Like, they could have called it sporting football team. Like, make it sound like a, a, a damn soccer team. The, uh, uh, the, uh, football, uh, football, uh, Washington football club. <laughs> right, the Washington football club. So, but anyway, they announced earlier today that February 2nd, they will be coming forward with the new name of their team. And now, I just just since you said February second, it got my antennas up. Now, it's, it's, it's you already know where we at in February. Yeah, this is Dan. Right. Dan, don't do this. Dan, don't do this. I'm surprised he didn't say we're gonna announce it on February 30th. The way that he moved. <laughs> um, but anyway, because of it, I, I I wanted to put forward some ideas. I, maybe they've already made their mind up. They already threw out a couple things that people thought they could be. They said, it's not that, it's not that. I can't remember. It was something like Red Wolves or Red Tails or something. They need to stay the hell away from Red anything, first of all. And no, no, no. This is why it's coming out Black History Month. That Red Tails looking real crystal clear for February 6th. Because he could have said January 31st, March 3rd, but he chose February. <laughs> it's going to be Red Tails. Is That's before the Super Bowl? Before the Super Bowl and Black History Month. You think Dan it's, Snyder is not looking for a way to get out of this jam? I am 100% sure Dan Snyder has no idea when Black History Month is. 1,000% <laughs> sure. His marketing team it. does, though. Well, he had to hire some black people. That's why. But that's what I'm we'll saying. See. And they like, I wonder if he even gave them email addresses. But well, I don't know. Whatever. They might be using Gmails at work. But um, <laughs> this can I mean, the grid. <laughs> we know good and damn well that, 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 that the Washington football team doesn't has very lax email policies. So we don't know what's going on in them emails. So I don't know. but And I don't think we ever will. But that's a no. whole other conversation. So I'm going to put forward uh, some recommendations that I had here based on the information I've got back. I believe that the name of a team, eh, if it can at all, should be somewhat associated with that team, with that era, like something that has to do with it. Especially if you have an opportunity to name it here in modern times. Because a lot of teams have inherited names that came from the 1800s and the you know, hell is ago, it doesn't even make any sense anymore. Like the Red Sox or the White Sox, like it doesn't even make sense anymore. But you got a chance here. So for me, the first name that I want to put forward is the Washington Filibusters because they've been holding they sell, they've been holding up this decision for so long. They didn't put as much politics in it as they possibly can. And they've tried to do everything they can to get in the way of actually having to make a decision. I'm going to say they should be the Washington Filibusters and they should have some old man standing on a podium be the be the logo with his finger reading with some with some readers on down over his thing reading <laughs> a, a, a letter. I know you had some thoughts. I got one more. I know you. Yeah, had some I mean, I, I think I mean a part of me was like, since it, it just hit me now that it's going to be Red Tails in Black History Month, and it's just he he he's he's got because he's so jammed up with these emails. I wanted to be a new owner. Preferably a black owner. I did, as DC does feel it needs a black owner. It needs to be Jeff Bezos, who's also who who was also matinee as Pitbull in his free time. Now it could, yeah, no, no, no. It could, or, or let's get it. Dave Stewart from here. Or some somebody said, no, I, we ain't taking nobody with money from St. Louis. That's the last straw of us ever having a chance to get a team back in St. Louis. You, get, you stay the hell away no, from him. Hold on, our billionaires can't even leave to go get go sit by No, him. hell no. Nah. I wish somebody from St. I wish something else from St. Louis would leave to do something better somewhere else. Can't come back home with me if you do that. You got to go hang out with Ben Robinson. I think this should be should wait for a new owner for a new team. I think the new owner should get the designated new team name. 
because I don't think Dan's going to own this team in less than two years. Them emails are going to be, and it's going to be a lot of niggas up in there. It's going to be a lot of cunts. It's going to be a lot of bad language about our LBGTQIA brothers and sisters. You can't say them two words. This is a reputable program, man. This isn't the regular scenario. You can't say them words, No, 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 but I'm just saying, this is what's going to be in them emails. And you know it. That's why you're laughing. It's going to be ugly. You know it's going to be ugly. We keep it real around this. And think about the jam up of like, I'm on my Gmail account. But I'm emailing you, and now my name is uh, brought up in this because I'm I got my regular Gmail name on mine. I think the NFL was tired of writing checks. That's why they just decided to obscure the rest of the emails coming out. But somebody's um, going legally. Somebody they got a, they they already wrote a big check to St. Louis. We'll talk about that in a second. And they also about to write a big check to to uh, John Gruden and maybe even Urban Meyer. So we're gonna see how that. How they want to write out. a big check to uh, Louise, and, and uh, that's the secretary over there at uh, uh, the Washington football team. Let them fire Louise before, uh, uh, and they'll let her get a full pension. So Let's give me what, what, what names. What give me some names, man? Daniel Snyder is not going nowhere. You name the team. Give me yeah. some names. I know you had some ideas here. What, what do you? Uh, got? I mean, I wanted it to be. I mean, I was thinking about the Obamas. No, you, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> Do you really want for them to make a cartoon character of Barack Obama and put it on a helmet? It's not trustworthy. No, it's not trustworthy. But it, yeah, you and so on the you side of the helmet putting, too. Yeah, you putting kerosene on the Civil War that's getting ready to kick off. And 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 a lot of people coming in blackface to the stadium, look trying to look like Obama in in, in general. The, uh, you would be asking for, it. but it'd be great on a general principle level if if they could do something like that. Or um, I was thinking about the DC. Um, uh um, oh man, I'm I'm forgetting my boy's name now. Uh, Rafe, the Rafael Edmondses. Oh no! And then you just have you, you, you just have a cocaine brick on the side yeah. of the helmet. <laughs> See, I was thinking about the emails and thinking about them trying to clean all that stuff up, but I was going to say call them the Washington Watergates. Ooh. Like they trying to get all the emails out before the league found out about it and before everything got jammed up. <laughs> The, the, the Washington uh, Watergates would also and the Watergate sense. Hotel is in DC was in DC as well. Yeah, so like you got a paper shredder on the side of the helmet, and they they trying to put a whole computer, <laughs> they trying to put a whole laptop into the into and, the and, uh, and that's a man's hands just just dumping it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a like a dude with like a trench coat on and like a private eye hat, just like putting a whole thing in. So, there. Okay, okay. So what is the so is the mascot just come out with the um. With the with with the with the with the with the, with the shredder machine and a computer and rolling around and just kind of yeah, like stuff in there. Yeah, like 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 he's just every game he's just shredding stuff up in there. He's running around like a shredder. Fans oh, and then the fans can bring in stuff they need to be shredded. Like you know, it's shredded day at work they, where they be like, if hey, you're a fan of that team, shred it, bring it down to the third floor. <laughs> if you're a fan of that team, by this point, you're just putting your own head into the shredder. Like they're just <laughs> they're just getting people out of there every week. So I think it's gonna um, be the Red Tails, though, to be honest. So, I don't know, man. Um, it's going to be an interesting. Uh, I, I'm I'm fascinated to see. It's going to be over underwhelming. There's never been any time where a team has gotten a new name where I was just like, "Oh, that's dope!" Like it never happens. Remember when the Sonics became the Thunder and everybody was like, "What the hell? What? It's a sound. They named them after a sound. Like it, it's and, and it's orange and blue." Do you like the Seattle Kraken? I, I don't know hockey. I don't. I, the hockey's got thirty-seven teams. I think they're right, and, and they got random them. names too. Yeah, I, I mean, the, the hockey has gotten rid of some of the dopest names that they that they had, like they they Nordiques and the Thrashers and all sorts of names they don't even use no more. Like I don't know. I think they last two teams have been what the Blue. I always Jackets thought Atlanta Kraken. missed the chance and calling themselves the Atlanta Magic. That would have been it, Magic City, and it could have been a small little thing that only you know if you we know could trade. We, you're proposing like a franchise trade, like the Orlando Hawks for the Atlanta Magic. Yep. All right. Okay. Okay. All right, man. So uh, speaking of speaking of that, man, let's move into our next thing here, man. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is uh, switch back over to the sub, man. It's your boy Matt. And if you enjoy this, click that subscribe, man, to get a, get more content from SOLC right here and from across the whole platform here, man. Get it right over there right now. Peace.